Okay, let's talk about sludge age. Uh, first, a couple housekeeping notes before we get into the equation. I did an introductory video explaining the difference between sludge age and MCRT, and I'm going to pin it in the comments below. It'll be the top comment. Go ahead and click on that link, and you can hear the dis discussion between what, what is the difference between these two metrics. Um, also in the links below, I'm going to link to my uh, video about uh, the wastewater treatment process. In there, I do go through the pounds formula. That's in the that's how I was doing the channel before I split the map away from the conceptual videos. I will do a more in-depth pounds formula video, and then I'll add it to the links below after it's done. But if you're confused on how to do pounds formula, go check out that video. It's towards the end. You can just fast forward to it and find it. It won't be hard to find it. It's all on a whiteboard. What you'll notice between that video and this video is I do the Davidson pie in that video. Uh, I ha At this point in my math, I drop the pie. It takes up a lot of space on your paper. And you can just write it linear if you're comfortable with it. So if you, if you like the Davidson pie, by all means, use it. If you're like me and it's, just as, it's easier just to write the numbers out, go for it. Do that too. Um, so that's you'll, how you'll see the math done here. Okay, so that's the first little bit of housekeeping. The second thing about sludge age is the equation. What is the equation? It is MLSS in pounds in the aeration basin only. You do not factor in the secondary clarifier in sludge age. Divided by the TSS in pounds of the influent into the aeration basin. Okay, and this is an important note. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remind you about this on... Anything that has to do with pounds going into aeration, uh, if you are given an influent TSS to the plant, plant influent TSS, and you're giving a primary clarifier effluent TSS, you use the primary clarifier effluent TSS because there's a, there's a treatment process that's happened between the plant influent. It's called the primary and, and the primary effluent. It's called the primary clarifier. So you're, you're getting rid of some of your TSS in the primary clarifier. You use the process that goes into aeration. Do not use the plant influent. Okay, the same thing you'll notice I wrote on the left, I used BOD. BOD has nothing to do with this equation. So you're going to be given things on your math problems that are irrelevant. And I'm going to say this a lot on this channel. They're not trying to trick you. People say that. Oh, they're going to trick you. They're, they're being mean. No, they're testing you. Do you know what you're talking about? So the equation is pounds in aeration divided by the influent TSS pounds uh, coming into aeration. And I've written this little note right here. For the sake of math, MLSS equals TSS. I cover that in the video that I shot um, that's pinned in the comments below. Uh, you can explore that later. Uh, for you advanced guys and gals, I know that MLSS is not TSS. I know it's not the same thing. MLSS means so much more, but for the sake of canceling units and making the math easy, I like to look at MLSS as TSS. Okay, if you want to have a conversation about that, by all means, put a comment down below. We can talk about it. But let's get to the math. I've spent three minutes yammering at you. Let's talk about what the actual equation is. So Q is 3 million gallons a day coming into the plant. That's flow. Uh, my MLSS in aeration is 2,250 milligrams per liter. Uh, my BOD is 190 milligrams per liter, my TSS is 150 milligrams per liter, and my aeration volume is 1 milligram, sorry, 1 million gallons. That's my aeration basin. Okay, so uh, I've already told you we don't need BOD for this. It's irrelevant. We need TSS, okay? So uh, the other thing we need is our flow, uh, we need our MLSS concentration, and we need our aeration basin volume. So on the top, you see I've done my MLSS pounds in aeration. So that's 1 million gallon aeration basin multiplied by 8.34 pounds per gallon multiplied by my MLSS concentration, 2250 milligrams per liter. Okay, And that gives me 18,765 pounds of MLSS, or for the sake of what we're doing, TSS here. It's the same on a chain of custody for the lab. Pretend it's the same for the math. Okay divided by my TSS coming in. So I've got 3 million gallons a day coming in times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 150 milligrams per liter TSS gives me 3,753 pounds per day. 
So when I divide that out, the pounds cancel out and I'm left with five days. That's my sludge age. We're done. This is a grade one exam in California. So this is a grade one exam question rather in California. Very simple. Um, the MCRT is a grade two question. And so the math in California relative to like the class C in say Florida or Texas is going to be the grades one and two. So the class C people from, it's my understanding you need to know both sludge age and MCRT. But uh, if, if you've taken the class C and you, you know differently, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, but uh, that's it. That's the sludge age. It's very, very simple. It's just two pounds formulas. And like I said, go find that video. It's in the links uh, below in the, in the description of the wastewater treatment process. If, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just, just skip straight to the pounds formula and you will see how we got there. Okay, so that's it. Please ask questions. And uh, again, check out that introductory video. I go into great detail about the difference between sludge age and MCRT. And uh, the next video I'm gonna be putting out is the MCRT so we can kind of tie this together. Okay, see you in the next one.